at home with Power BI. I'm Zahir Rehmer for Sigma BI. Um, today, I'm just going to show you how to insert images and emojis into your reports. Um, now, I'm quite a visual a visualization person, so I like to see my reports with different images uh, and, be, and being quite creative in the dashboards. Um, so in this video, we'll just show you how to bring that in and how to jazz up your, uh, your reports. It does bring that little bit of touch to it. And I think also, if you're doing it on behalf of clients, you can bring that branding so they'll see um, the extra attention to detail that you've done. Now you ready? I'll show you how it's done. Come on, let's go. So we're going to start by bringing an image into one of our reports. So we've got, got a report here. It's a, it's a, a movie one. And what I want to do is just a bit of branding or just wanted to, to showcase this report as one of my own. I want to bring an image in. So what we do is we go in, go to the top ribbon, go press on insert. And then we go to the right hand side, it says image. Click on that. Then it should do is go to pictures. I've got a few pictures here and then what I want to do is set the picture I want. And I'll then just bring that picture in. Put that to the top right or top left or whichever you want to put it. Doesn't look too good there, but you, you get the picture. You just want to put it in corner. So, and then what I want to say is obviously I bring another image. So you just go to the inside at the top, press image, and I just want to bring the YouTube in. Bring that one in to say, say the YouTube channel. Bring on there. So just readjust it on the size. So, Bringing an image is as easy as that. Okay. Now, if you wanted to bring an emoji in, this is now this is quite a cool way to do it. All right. So the way we do this is on the top ribbon. We're going to create a new measure. So we click on new measure. Brings up the formula. So what we want to do here is, let's just say emoji equals, okay. And then what, I want to do, what you want to do is press the Windows key on your keyboard and then a full stop. So what that will now do is bring up some emojis. So you can search for, you can click ones and pick whichever ones you want to go for here so let's just pick one I don't know let's put pizza because I want to do a pizza so click that emoji so what I want to, what you want to do is just wrap this round some speech marks Click it, and then what we need to do now is let's get some emojis on. So I'm gonna say, right, okay, let's bring the emoji in. So the visualization, I'm just going to click the card, and then I'm gonna click on the emoji. So that now has brought that emoji in here. Best to take off the category. You can just put it anywhere. Right. I'll show you that again. So what you do is go to new measure. Emoji two equals. Okay. So this is the, the windows icon on your keyboard and then the full stop. And then what I'm going to show you now is what we can do is if you don't know what you want, if you want to search for something, um, you can type it. So if you type in something like the world or actually let's do a map, that will then bring up some maps. Uh, actually, there's a nice little key here. So push pin, put that in. Let's do the 
that out of the way. Wrap this round. Some speech marks. Done. And then I'll just go on to where the maps are. And then I can select the card, put in more G2. Take off the category and then put in the corner here, which I think it looks pretty neat. Yep. And then also what you can do with the emojis as well, you can actually copy these from uh, a website. There is a, um, a website here. I just want to, the emoji website, and you can just go to any. So if you just say, right, okay, I want this rocket. Let's copy it. And then I'm going to do in here is emoji three and paste it. So then wrap that round, some speech marks. Okay, so let's get a card visual and put emoji number three in there. As you can see, it's on there as well. Category. Yeah, let's put it somewhere here. So it's not the best report for, for me to show you the emojis, but I just want to show you that this is what we can do in your reports just to jazz them up. Um, if you was doing it for your clients or company, you could bring in their logos, um, pictures that are from around the office, put that in, and then these emojis, um, especially with arrows, if you had arrows, if you brought arrows in, you can you can specify from this visual to go to this visual, point it you know, in this direction and that direction. So there's kind of a flow to your report. So there, there, are, there are quite a few benefits for uh, using uh, images and emojis. Well, that's just, uh, I thought it was going to be a quick video, but it has run on a little bit. But I hope you enjoyed that. Um, like and um, subscribe to my channel. Uh, and if you have any questions, just post them below. Thanks for watching, guys. At home with Power BI with me Zahir Raymond. Learn with us by subscribing to our channel to get updated on our latest videos.